from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Scattered showers, a few storms moving into the tri-state right now, so our threat for severe weather beginning. But based on all the data this evening and the trends, it looks like our threat's a little bit lower than initially anticipated, but still there for the overnight hours. And all this after another very warm day. We hit 86, second consecutive day, but the record was safe this afternoon, set back in 1967 at 90 degrees. Mid-80s area-wide this afternoon, and we have two more days in the 80s before the second cold front coming through Thursday night finally knocks us down and also quiets things down heading into the upcoming weekend. The severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect up in Clay County expired at 9 o'clock. Weather service kind of holding back. They're conferring with the Storm Prediction Center as to whether a severe thunderstorm watch will be necessary. But right now, not enough organization to these storms to warrant a watch yet. But the guidance indicating that the upper level support is going to be increasing here in the next few hours. But there's not as much instability at the surface to really get those storms to tap into all that energy. And so far, we've had maybe one strong cell. You can see it there, kind of raced across southeastern Illinois, now is exiting far northern Knox County. Lightning picking up a little bit now in northern Saline County over in Hamilton County. But again, nothing too organized or certainly uh, of concern at this point. But I do suspect we'll see some intensification here in the next uh, couple of hours. But all quiet as we look out across the Henderson Strip to the west, not much lightning there in the distance. And it's still plenty warm 76 degrees the dew point has been really low late this afternoon it is rising now some and the higher this number gets the more fuel there is for storms and it's also a windy night south southwest wind sustained right now at 16 miles per hour temperatures generally 70 to 75 will only fall back into the mid to upper 60s for a very warm overnight low so you can see the storms continuing to fire here. We got a, a cold front up here to the north. That's what's coming through tomorrow afternoon, and that's not going to have much action with it, but we'll just have to see how all this activity behaves here over the next several hours. The Storm Prediction Center did not really change the outlook for the overnight hours, keeping that slight level two threat in the western portion of the tri-state, mainly in southern Illinois. The rest of us, a lower marginal one threat. And here's our future tracker model kind of a scattering of storms there at 11 p.m. Not too much difference there at 2 a.m. And any threat, I think, will be winding down at around 4 a.m. And all the showers gone by daybreak tomorrow, which will dawn mostly cloudy. And then we'll see a gradual clearing trim. And it will likely turn out to be a pretty nice day. Now, we're still outlooked for a marginal severe weather threat in our eastern counties. I'll back up the graphic there. And you can see this is much lower than it was yesterday. And our model, if you recall, has not been developing anything with the front tomorrow after. Afternoon, and that continues to be the case this evening. This new run keeping the entire tri state dry. Couple models spitting out maybe a spotty storm in our eastern counties, but really not expecting much coverage tomorrow. So I don't think it's going to be a, a problematic day. Matter of fact, it will turn out to be a pretty nice but very windy day and a very warm one again, also with highs in the lower 80s, just a little cooler than the past few days. Now we do cool into the 50s tomorrow night. Then later Thursday, we got the threat for severe weather ramping up again, a level two slight risk for most of the area later Thursday afternoon and evening. So we'll see how Future Tracker handles that wave. We're fine through the really early to mid afternoon hours at 4 p.m., still quiet, and we'll be in the low 80s yet again on Thursday. But here we go with a wave of scattered storms hitting our southern Illinois between 7 and 8 p.m. This run not quite as organized with the storms compared to the last two, but we're still two days is out here and this does have a higher potential since it's coming in more during the heat of the day or shortly thereafter 8 p.m. storms are picking up and by 11 o'clock in the evening the storms are beginning to pull through our eastern counties so this will be one we'll have to watch but once the front comes through that's a stronger front that will dry us out not a lot of sunshine on Friday but we'll be cooling down into the 60s and temperatures getting even cooler as we head into the weekend so overnight scattered showers and thunderstorms will be increasing next couple of hours and ending from west to east overnight. Right now, it looks like a limited severe threat. Windy, very warm, 65 to 69. Gradual clearing tomorrow. Maybe a spotty storm in our eastern counties, but most of the area stays dry. I've taken off the severe storm alert for the day, 80 to 84. And then we see the scattered storms come back in late Thursday afternoon into Thursday night after a high of 83 degrees. The 35% chance Friday is before sunrise. The day should be dry, a little clearing, 66. The weekend looks nice. 
Mix of sun and clouds both days. It'll be dry but cool with high temperatures only topping out in the lower 60s.